Yes, lovers. Today we are going to create a code pipeline using a cloud formation. We will write a template, and then we will deploy that uh, template to cloud formation, and then the cloud formation will create us all of these resources except the GitHub because GitHub is something third party tool, and uh, this is our source from where we are getting our code and things for to build everything for us so we will deploy our changes into the elastic pin stock so first of all what we are going to do we have already um, code pipeline creating so what we are going to do we are going to clone that existing coach pipeline and then we have to do some changes in that um, in that file so that we can deploy that into the cloud formation so for so for doing this we need a command this one and uh, this one command for this to get the JSON data and yeah AWS code pipeline get pipeline and then the name of the pipeline which should be this one if you are not getting this or maybe you are getting some error it's just because you did not configure um, your AWS account with your CLI so you should go first and do that otherwise if you have already done that then it's an easy thing to go so this is the JSON code you get it's all the steps we have I mean you can remove some steps which means like I have added already two or three manual uh, actions for the manual things for that and the second thing we also remove this metadata tag so what we need to do just copy this all the JSON file here how long will it take um, yeah yep just copy this one and then uh, paste it into any text editor or maybe I am going to use a VS code for this so just create one new file cloud formation clone uh, no code pipeline clone and then I just forget to rename it to the JSON this one and then just uh, paste this go here um, so we will see like uh, this is our file we can uh, yeah and all and the important thing is that uh, yeah these are the important things we need to add in it and you will see which field is required and which is like an optional like the role is also like is an important and if you see um, if you see at, at this at this code like in the cloud formation this one thing that we have to write things like uh, like the first what uh, should be capital like it should be star with the capital it should be not the small one should be the capital one and should be go with the same one and for that way you can use this uh, template if you don't have any idea or if, if you want to learn the basics of that you can use that and once you do all of the changes uh, before going forward I just wanted to show this template yeah look at this this one we are using some github we are telling that this is this is our state this is an action or um, this is our source where we have to get the source so for this code the one we are cloning uh, clone the code pipeline which have three source which means like three different github repositories different github branches and different codes we are getting um, and first of all if you do all of these changes which I am not going to do here in, 
in this tutorial it should be something like this uh, and one more thing we have to add this line the type and we have to tell that like this is our uh, what, what, what is the service we are going to use for it so we need at least one resource which isn't in this uh, template so we have to add the resource and then we have to whatever the name of the pipeline or maybe we should use this pipeline as well but we have to add this uh, resource section which is a compulsory and then we have to mention this one and then in uh, you don't need to change anything else for that uh, but if you're using the github like we don't have an auth token so what you're going to do um, for this purpose there's a I will obviously add a link to that auth token uh, let me let me grab that link for you yes um, this should be a link to get an auth token then how did you get an auth token and just put it in yo know, or maybe you can use a system parameter or any other AWS service you have to clean this code like like the way I have done here it should be clean um, I there's some important data which I am just trying to hide um, yeah so this is something like that we're going to yeah, like you can see like uh, capital words and region and everything should be according to uh, the template like if you just follow this template and you will easily get it and this is and and you will get the github from here and uh, i think i should have tell you everything is time for us to deploy this template um there's nothing else to do so i think yeah now it's time for us to deploy our changes so what I will going to do I am not going to um, upload this one because it takes a lot of time to do all of these changes which I have already done so just go to this file and uh, paste this command or maybe this is like I'm uh, I'm doing it from uh, from the CLI but what you can do you can go to the cloud for me you can do it from the console like just upload this file super easy um, and for there's something we need to change here like the profile should be the profile you are using it should be for me it should be something like this one for, for you it should be different and then this one application dot template means like we have to um, specify the name of the file which should be in our case this one uh, and also the extension I think and then yeah my first tag is something like uh, the name of the stack it should be like demo code pipeline and press enter yeah successfully created so this is the ID of our stack and it will take up to like four or five minutes but before we uh, to upload this all these resources just go here check out this cloud formation and we will see our cloud formation here yeah so it is super fast we can see that our demo C uh, code pipeline is successfully created if we go to the events okay we will go to the resources we will see uh, the resources it just create us a code pipeline forget everything from here you can see the template uh, so now it's time to go to code pipeline and um, it will take a bit time yeah you can see this is in progress just now and this is the one we are cloning like this is the existing um, code pipeline which we use to clone it and we just clone that existing um, code pipeline so it means like whenever we need um, to delete this or maybe 
recreate this one we don't need to go step by step we just need to upload this file and it will automatically create for us just go to this one and uh, it is asking us the manual approval so what we're going to do we just approve it and if we see in the template yeah okay uh, here we have uh, at least two or three um, manual approvals in that in that file yeah this is the stages and we can see like uh, we have to clean that file a lot I believe like it is a lot of things to do like to change here in this file uh, like a lot of spaces and things but uh, it's okay for now I think it should work Oh, or maybe try oh uh, yeah it should work I believe so now it is waiting for us to build once it will build up the next step what we will do we will um, accept this we shouldn't accept this one because I don't want to do all the changes into this elastic green stock environment for me and I don't want it so we will uh, end this tutorial uh, once this build is successful because it is important it will take at least one two minutes to complete this one so since what we uh, we will see what we have done we create a template we what we did is that we just go to a template we, we clone the existing code pipeline we go to we post that JSON file to our VS code we do change some changes in that file and once all the files is done according to this template um, according to this template then we deploy all the um, template to the to the cloud formation so there's two way for doing that one from the CLI uh, the command I use and the second one from doing from the console and once our cloud formation is okay we just deploy that stack and that stack will create us this uh, this is source code pipeline and the code pipeline is uh, is fetching all the changes of data from the github where we are using the three different sources three different branches and then all of these changes will go and deploy those to the cloud to the code build at which we are waiting uh, let's see yeah, uh, it would take uh, I think it will take one or two minutes more so um, the code pipeline is about is in progress and then it will deploy this to the elastic beanstalk but in that template we did not add these manual approval processes uh, but you can uh, you can do that so this is our template which we just copy from the co from the from the terminal like we can see like this is a, a github data we are fetching okay fine yeah so we will see like now our build stage is okay but I don't want to deploy all those changes into the elastic beanstalk which is like everything is okay which is okay but for that I just wanted to go click on the review and I will reject it the main purpose is like we already created all the steps stages we need and it is working for us it is fetching data from our sources which is three different sources for us and then it asks the manual approval and then boom we get what we need thank you so much for watching